Have you ever wondered how important irrigation systems are to the success of agriculture? We continue to tell you the methods that we have tried ourselves and those that have been tried in the world. We observe that in these methods, irrigation is divided according to different countries, different economies and different needs. Irrigation systems, the unsung heroes of agriculture, are the lifeblood of successful agricultural operations. They ensure that crops receive the right amount of water at the right time. Today we will focus on two specific irrigation systems in the way we grow our food. Underground drip irrigation system, above ground drip irrigation system. Both of these systems have their own unique features. Each has its own advantages and challenges, whether you're an experienced farmer or just a curious observer. Understanding these irrigation systems can provide valuable information about the agricultural world. Above ground drip irrigation and subsurface drip irrigation are two irrigation methods that are becoming increasingly common among modern agricultural practices. Both methods offer advantages such as water and fertilizer savings, increased efficiency and reduction in labor costs. However, there are some important differences between them. First, let's get things to the surface with an above ground drip irrigation system. This system, as its name suggests, is located right above the ground. It delivers water directly to the roots of plants. As you can watch in the playlists of our channel, we frequently use the above ground drip irrigation system to irrigate the plants we produce. Before we get into why we've been using it for a long time, above ground drip irrigation is an irrigation method that allows water and fertilizer to be delivered directly to the root zone of the plant through drip pipes laid on the soil surface. In this method, water and fertilizers are given slowly, in small amounts, through the holes in the drip pipes. In this way, efficient use of water and fertilizer is ensured. Above ground drip irrigation has some advantages. The initial installation cost is lower than a subsurface drip irrigation system. Even these drip pipes are in the form of thin and thick pipes. While thin pipes are suitable for a single season, thick ones increase your chance of using them for several years when you collect them and lay them again. This may enable you to use the product you once purchased for several years. It is easier to lay pipes on sloping lands. It is easier to detect faults in the system and the cost of fixing the faults is lower because you can see the pipes on the surface. You have an easier chance of going and repairing it. Although it varies depending on the size of the field, it is sufficient to place one pipe at the beginning of the line. If you have a very large field, you can simplify the solution with several different lines. Above ground drip irrigation has some disadvantages. All kinds of cultural practices and harvesting practices in the field are more difficult. You have to relay and collect those pipes with each crop. Because when the harvest is over, if you do not want to plow the field with the pipes, you have to remove them. Since the system is above the surface, the maintenance requirement is higher. Drip tubes left on the soil surface can cause weeds to grow. Subsurface drip irrigation is an irrigation method that allows water and fertilizer to be delivered directly to the root zone of the plant through drip pipes laid underground. In this method, water and fertilizers are given slowly and in small amounts through the holes in the drip pipes. In this way, efficient use of water and fertilizer is ensured. Subsurface drip irrigation has some advantages. It is one of the most efficient irrigation methods in terms of water and energy saving cultural practices and harvesting practices in the field are easier. Since the system is below the surface, the maintenance requirement is less. It prevents the growth of weeds on the soil surface. It eliminates the need to collect and relay every season. It will be easier to plow the field because you do not see the pipes on the surface. Subsurface drip irrigation has some disadvantages. The initial installation cost is higher than an above ground drip irrigation system. Pipe laying is more difficult in sloping lands. It is more difficult to detect faults in the system. The cost of fixing faults is also higher. When laying pipes underground, the soil must be blasted. This can damage the roots and capillaries of plants. If you have orchards and plan to do something like this under them later, it is very important to pay attention to this. Otherwise, you may damage the roots of the trees. Once you set up the system, you may never have to deal with it again. However, in case of any malfunction, 
it will be more difficult to repair this situation since you do not know where the problem originates from. For example, any leakage under the ground will divide the power of the water engine and reduce its focus on the main location. Above ground drip irrigation and subsoil drip irrigation. They are two different irrigation methods, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. Which method is more advantageous may vary, depending on the type of plant grown, the characteristics of the land and the needs of the grower. The choice really comes down to individual circumstances and needs, as both have their own strengths and weaknesses. Underground drip irrigation, also known as subsurface irrigation, is frequently used in areas where water is scarce or expensive. It is a system that transmits water directly to the root zone of plants, reduces evaporation and saves valuable resources. However, it can be more expensive to install and maintain. It is not suitable for all types of soil or crops. Above ground drip irrigation, on the other hand, is generally cheaper to install and easier to maintain. It is a flexible system that can be used with many different crop types and soil conditions. However, it is more susceptible to damage from weather and pests and water loss through evaporation can be a concern. To solve this, we try to run this system when the weather is cooler rather than when it is hot. Because it is not good to water the soil when the sun is directly overhead. In this way there will be no point in watering as evaporation will increase further. You can use thicker drip pipes to further reduce the damage caused by pests. Thin drips are more suitable and can be finished in a single season, while thick drips are more durable and allow use for several seasons. Disposable drips are preferred by most farmers as they have the possibility of being set up and collected by machine, because machine labor can provide more savings compared to manual labor. Remember that the perfect irrigation system does not exist. Each type has strengths and weaknesses. The choice between underground and above ground drip irrigation systems is a matter of balance that depends on several factors. These factors include your budget, soil type, the crops you grow, and personal preferences. Are you looking for a system that saves water but has a higher upfront cost? Or are you more inclined towards a system that is easier to install and maintain but may consume more water? These are questions only you can answer. Ultimately, the best irrigation system is the one that meets your needs, fits your budget, and helps you achieve your agricultural goals. We have been using the above ground drip irrigation system for a long time. Even though we encountered problems, we came to the conclusion that this was the most suitable method for us. We sometimes bring water from underground places with coil pipes. However, when we enter the field and garden, the drip systems are on the ground. We want to try the subsoil drip irrigation system in our orchard first. We tried a mixed underground and above ground system in our quince field. You can watch it in our video and share your opinions with us. See you in other videos. Don't forget to support us. And as always, keep farming.